We are denied his awakening this night. But the lords of Doldo will surely destroy this impure world. Pray for a miracle for the lord of violence and destruction. And his name shall be Saldo! It was back in 1995 that Astonite was discovered, a material capable of absorbing human psychowave energy. With Astonite's ability to integrate actual life energy, medical technology has seen a magnificent advance. Medical data proves that the recovery period for accident victims is dramatically reduced through the use of Astonite. Our company has harnessed this effect by transforming the instinct for survival within all living things into physical energy. How's the arm action look, okay? Okay, hurry up. We're getting close, people. Layla, we got a call from the CEO. I'll take it. Beginning, final check. Does make the data and bring estimate output up to level... You all set, John? Yeah. You're the star of this test, John. Good luck. Oh, boy. <laughs> there they go at it again. Ooh. Ooh. Fringe benefits, huh, John? I envy you, pal. Adler. Please forgive me, but I do have some small interest in this project. I wanted to see your new guard suit in action myself, firsthand. Ignoring your interests, this will finally show the Alpha Project Committee that it works. Yeah, that's right, Adler. Now we finally have a way to save cancer from itself. Of course, John. Cyberwood. <laughs> An appropriate name for this forest of steel. A gigantic concrete life form growing with technology its blood. But the body is being eaten away by a growing malignancy. You're talking about cancer, sir? Yes, cancer. That festering slum home for human waste. The Feds are counting on the Alpha Project to clean up that waste. But Layla's bleeding heart plan isn't the way. It allows the possibility of those destructive elements surviving into the city's future. The Astonite Guardian, as shown previously in the slides. For that reason, I cannot allow this test to succeed! The suit converts psychowave energy into physical energy, which is then discharged to the outside. The Alpha Project's objective is the purification of the city's slum sector. However, the bloodshed which has traditionally accompanied the maintenance of public order cannot be justified. As you can see, he has rendered the four robots inoperative. With the life energy that can be produced by this suit, cancer will be saved. The ability to neutralize and instantly perform a bloodless arrest on a suspect is a dream come true. Almost time. Uh, uh, won't come off. V 
the end, John. Awaken. Awaken, Soldo! type of energy is invading John. According to the attending physician, he only suffered light burns across his body. It shouldn't be life-threatening. What do you mean? He didn't blow up along with the suit? It looks that way, sir. So I guess you would have to say it must have been a miracle. But there's no chance of the suit being repaired. Enough. A miracle. What miracle? He did something to save himself in the middle of that death trap. <laughs> Looks like I underestimated you, John. John, what happened to you out there? How could it have happened? No, it was my fault to have such a horrible accident happen at the proving test. I should have checked the suit more thoroughly. Forgive me, John. Stunt driving again, huh? Hey, any sign of that meat wagon I asked for uh, yet, no, Patrolman? No, sir, but I'm sure it'll be here soon. <laughs> Son of a... Gordon here had to bail on the truck accident. In pursuit of a hot rodder, headed straight downtown into Cancer. Send backup, I need backup. Roger, HQ here. You'll have a unit with you in 20 minutes. You're on your own till then. Stupid. Uh, uh, uh. Who, who are you? Awake, are we? Uh, what is all this? Ah! Just be patient for a while longer. A magnificent destiny awaits you. A what? What are you talking about? We can't have you getting excited. Let me... let me out of here! Let me out! Just be quiet until we've finished with you. Yeah! 
Freeze! Stop right there. Don't even try and breathe. Okay, that's a good boy. What's your name? John Stalker. Central Guard Company. R researcher. Okay, John. Don't give me any trouble. go Good name for that rotting hellhole. So John's somewhere in there? It means nothing to us. John. Now, Layla, you're a gifted scientist. I can help to get you back on track. Layla, if you want me to, I can even help you get the research going again. If that cop was right, then John's probably... He is alive! <laughs> Far from likely. Nobody who ever goes into cancer ever gets out alive. Cancer... is where John was born. What? He's from there? He lived there up until junior high. He worked his way out, eventually coming to work with me. He told me that he would never go back there. Was it the experiment? No, no. Calm down. Please, forgive me, Adler. You're taking the trouble to help me. For you, anything, Layla. I don't want you going in there and getting yourself killed. Brethren of Daldo, our long wait reaches its end this night. The sun tomorrow will shine for us alone. Blessings upon Saldo. Glory to Daldo. What's wrong, Leila? I thought somehow that I heard John's voice. That's impossible. Looks like a funeral procession. Or is it? Where am I? Somebody help me! John! What? Behold this young man. He who carries the spirit of destruction within him. He who shall smash this defiled world. Blessed be he! <laughs> I found you, John. John. How dare you try to deceive me, you cancer scum. Now I'll pay you back for doing it. 
John's dead? Yes, Layla. He's dead. Sacrificed by those devil worshippers. Surely even you must understand now that the kind of people who live here don't belong in civilized society. Adler, was John really... John, damn you to hell! Are we awake, Miss Layla? Uh, who are you? What are you going to do with me? Before I answer, won't you at least thank me? I saved you while you were unconscious. I suppose you did. And showed me a rare sight. Primitive idol worshippers existing in this day and age. No, not an idol. It's quite real. That monster, you mean? What have you done to John? <laughs> he is John Stalker no longer. He is Saldo, Doldo's supreme god of destruction. So I have concluded. This city we call Cypherwood represents a citadel of a future which must one day come. But I ask you all to consider those who live in darkness at our feet. The federal government currently has a plan to reform the city of Kent. 10,000 police officers, 1,000 bulldozers. Is this really necessary? Is this really necessary? Necessary. We've got an eyewitness report from a detective. Let me tell you, it was superhuman, like some sort of a giant gorilla. If it shows up, we'll have a panic on our hands. I don't know what you're talking about, but I think you're starting to slip. You know our guys aren't just regular cops, Gordon. Uh, sure that detective didn't have a dream about King Kong? How the hell should I know? What we need is love! Only by love will cancer be saved!
information as of yet. Until we do, we'll continue broadcasting. <laughs> the fool's punishment has begun. I recognize you now. So, now you remember me. The one scientist who opposed the release of the Astonite formula 20 years ago. Not 20 years ago, Miss Layla. Are you aware that man has known of Astonite since the Middle Ages? Dr. Vox. Target moving towards point S201. Commence pursuit. Wolf 101, Roger. 102, Roger. Just as a silver bullet or cross will drive out the forces of darkness, there is a metal which attracts evil. It is talked about in the legends of the Doldo Brethren. When I learned they were constructing their devil armors, I decided, decided to use Astonite to try and make those armors real. You mean you? The, the John? Yes, a fantastic discovery, which will lead mankind to a new level of existence. You're mad. Turn him back to normal. That's quite impossible. The body's transformation destroys the individual's mind. Only someone who is possessed by a murderous, demonic, hate-filled heart can use the Saldo armor. <gasps> That's a lie! It's the truth! Twelve years ago, we implanted seeds of hatred into boys here in Cancer. All so one could wear the Saldo armor. Welcome, John Starker. Our sincerest welcome to you. This machine will really save cancer? Yes. It will be controlled by a man's good conscience. My own life will save cancer. The creature, appearing out of the steel jungle like the King of Beasts, has thus far managed to elude the city police. The city police are engaged in a frantic search, but they still have not found the creature. If you have any information about the creature, please contact this station at the number shown on your screen. Don't find him. Not until I do. The 
astonite output is discharging at 100%. What can be causing it? Regret. A body possessed of regret cannot use the Saldo arm. If this keeps up, Saldo won't be the only one. The resurrection of all the other gods will be affected. I know. John. So there you are, John. Wait! John, where are you going? Back to where I was born. No. What is it? Looks like Satan's moving around in here. That thing? Well, now, looks like he's shown up again. Awaken, John Stalker! human. You're a monster who defiles all who come near him. Yes, you are John Stalker no longer. You are the great lord of destruction, I... master of the world of darkness. There is no forgiveness for this woman who spills the blood of our exalted king. Lay her open with your claws! Kill her! <laughs> Impossible! Again, John. It's been a while, Layla. Adler, that thing, you didn't. I was going to use this to sweep those rats from their nests until you had to interfere. Adler, are you insane? You brought the Genocyber out here? Now I have the same power as that freak. Would you like me to rip him apart right in front of you? <laughs> I won't kill him here, though. I've already chosen the place where you should have died. Let's go then, John. <laughs> Where he should have died? The test center! Gordon here. We 
We've gotten a tip on where the monster's headed. Get every man we've got and get over to Central Guard Company ASAP. What do you mean? Can you clarify? We don't have time for that. You're that worried about him? This guy who's turned into the monster. John. Right. Right, uh, I'm not so sure I buy all of this story. The monster, John, I mean, he isn't violent anymore. The Saldo armor seems to be drawing its power from thoughts of rage and murder. Now that John's regained his consciousness, I don't think he can use the armor's destructive power. Barely stand on your feet, can you? That's the way. It's not time for Betty by quite yet. I thought so. The Saldo armor has lost its power. himself again, but he's getting his butt kicked. Now what? energy like in the test the energy that helped you regain consciousness is purifying the saldo armor John you can control the armor yourself She's mine now. If you want her, come and get her! <laughs> John!
<laughs> that guy's really something else. What the? Hey, why don't you ask your boyfriend to help you? That's all right. Believe me, you wouldn't want to wake him up. Oh. 